Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anya. This video I'd like to introduce for you guys is the big capacity of lithium iron phosphate battery in the market at present. In my previous video, I show you guys the market for the energy storage system that become more and more big capacity. From the CALB 392 ampere hour, the Connex 490 ampere hour, and the CATL 587 ampere hour, and EV 628 ampere hour lithium phosphate cell in the market. The reason why the battery cell become more and more bigger, the bottom answer will be that they pursue more cost-effective price. And now the EV628 ampere hour have already released to the market. And also another of the CATL with the big capacity 530 ampere hour also released to the market. So this video I'd like to make a very simple comparison video between this big capacity of the EV. 628 ampere hour with the CATL 530 ampere hour. Except the comparison between the EV628 ampere hour with the CATL 530 ampere hour, we also bring the EV314 ampere hour with the REPT Brutal. 314 ampere hour for you guys to compare how well you to choose the big capacity or the 314 ampere hour this capacity for your application. The video will to comparison by the appearance, size, voltage, internal resistance, capacity, and the price. Okay, follow my video and the, to see the details. Let's go. Okay, first let's to have a look of the appearance. Now I put the four type of battery here. This is the EV628 ampere hour. This one is the EV314 ampere hour. This is the CATL530 ampere hour. And this is the REPT Brutal314 ampere hour. In appearance, you can see both of them is covered by the blue film, black cover. For the EVE, you can see the terminal of the stator is different shape. And for the EVE, it is the square, the IPT is the round. For the first appearance, both four type of the cell all have the QR code. And secondly, let's to see what if the QR code real or fake. To confirm the QR code real or fake, it is easy. When you touch it, if it's smooth, then firstly you can you can know it is the real, but when we touch the CATL, it is roughly, it is roughly, and uh, it is not the real QR code, it is fake. And uh, you can tear off the black cover. You can take the black cover of here and uh, to see. It is a little hard to tell. Some guys do a good job on the black cover. Oh, it is very hard to tell. They print a new QR code here, and uh, you know, now in the market, they do better job on the sticker of the black cover. And uh, when you Tear off it, you can see it very clearly. They have the scratches here, and this place is polished. This place is polished, and they print a new code here. This is the fake QR code. This is our appearance. So, from appearance, we know that this CTL is the big grade. And secondly, let's to have the measurement for the size for both four type of battery cell to see the detailed size of it. 
First is EV 628 ampere hour, and from the size it is the 352 millimeter. Let's to see the CATL. For the CATL, the length is 274 millimeter in length. And let's to see the EVE 314 ampere hour, the length is the EVE and it is 173 millimeter in length. And let's to have a look of the RUPT. It is the same size as the EVE, it is 173. This is the length, 352 millimeter in length, 173 millimeter in length, 274 millimeter in length. And let's to have a look of the height. From eyes to measure, you can see the EVE 628 ampere hour is the same height, same. And the CATL will be higher. IPT 314 is similar like this one. Let's to measure it to have the details of the height. From the height, you can see it is the and 204 millimeter in height, not included the the pole height. The cell height is 204, and we know the same as the EV. Let's to have a look of the CATL. CATL 500. 30 ampere hour is 200 and 210 millimeter in height if not included in the standard height let's to have a look of the IEPT brutal it is the 104 it is the same height as the EV 314 ampere hour okay now let's to have a detailed size of the thickness it is the similar thickness how is the detailed size by the Ruler. You can see it is the 70, it is 72 to 73. And how is the EV 72? And uh, let's to have a look of the, of the CATL. It is the 70, 73. How is the RPT? 73, 72. Actually, from the from the thickness, no matter the eyes to measure or the ruler to measure them, it is the similar size of the thickness. Okay, for the size measurement, and we will know that for the EV628 ampere hour, it is combined by the two pieces of EV MB31 314 ampere hour to combine together. The, the EV628 ampere hour the size is thickness 72 millimeter, length 342 millimeter. The height is 204 millimeter in height, not included the standard height. For the EV and the REPT 314 ampere hour, it is almost a similar size. 72 millimeter in thickness, 173 millimeter in length, and the 204 millimeter in height. For the CATL 530 ampere hour, the thickness is 73 millimeter. The length is 274 millimeter. The height is 210 millimeter. It is the highest among these four type of battery cells, but not a very big size. This is the size comparison. And the next, I like to share with you guys the weight of each cell and to calculate the energy density for each type of battery cell because now the market the battery cell is make more and more bigger and the previous weight machine cannot work anymore and now i buy a big weight machine to weight each of the battery cell let's to see the details about it okay first let's to weight the iept brutal and uh, you can see the weight is 5.6 kilogram. Okay, next one. Next is the CATL, 530 ampere hour. 
This is the 9.3 kilogram. Okay, 9.3. This is the EVE 314 ampere hour. This is 5.57 kilogram. Okay. Final is the 628 ampere hour. You can see the weight is 11.3 kilogram. Okay, this is the weight. Okay, from the weight, we can calculate the energy density. For the IPT, we get is the 179 watt hour per kilogram. And for the CATL, we get is the 182 watt hour per kilogram. EVE 314 ampere hour, we get is 180 watt hour per kilogram. For the for the EVE 628 ampere hour, we get is 177 watt hour per kilogram. Next step, I'd like to share with you guys how is the internal resistance for the each of battery cell. Actually, for the voltage, I also like to share with you guys about the full voltage. If one piece of of the cell, it cannot tell anything about the voltage. For the voltage, you need to check all bulk of the cell, and you can know the details of the voltage quality about the battery cell. So this video I'd like to share with you guys is the internal resistance. This is our tester. We will start from the EV628 ampere hour. The internal resistance is 0. 1413 1314 one, one, three, one, Let's see the EV314 ampere hour. The internal resistance is 0 0.22, 0 0.21, 0 0.22. And uh, how is the CATL? CATL will be the 0 0.2. Mm, actually, okay, 0 0.2. This is the if REPT rotor we got is 0 0.23, okay. Okay, above is the internal resistance test. From the testing, we got that the EVE 628 ampere hour is lowest. And to my surprise, that is why the CATL 530 ampere hour internal resistance higher to 0 0.2 mini ohm. As you know, for the internal resistance, the rule is that the more higher of the capacity, the more lower if of the internal resistance. This is the rule. Just like the previous, I show you guys about the testing of the EV100 ampere hour or the CATL100 ampere hour. I show you guys about the testing for internal resistance and the voltage. The internal resistance is 0 0.3 mini ohm around. For the 3.2415 ampere hour, the internal resistance is about 2 mini ohm around. This is the internal resistance. There should be follow the rule that is the more higher of capacity, the more lower of internal resistance. But for the CATL, it is shocked to me that the internal resistance is as high as to the 0.2 mini ohm for 530 ampere hour. It's almost similar like the EV314 ampere hour. Why comes that? Is that because it is the big grid? I don't know. So above is the internal resistance test. And for the next one, that is the capacity. For the capacity, we have already done the testing for four types of battery cell. For the, four, for the first of the EV628 ampere hour, the real capacity we got is 680 ampere hour. The testing method is 2.5 voltage to 3.65 voltage. Current for charge and discharge is 30 ampere hour. And the same testing way for the CATL 530 ampere hour, the, the capacity we got is 
the capacity we got is 537 amp hour. For the EV 314 amp hour, we got the capacity is 332 amp hour. And for the IEPT Brutal, we got the testing result is 336 amp hour. This is the capacity testing for both four types of the cell from our factory with the same testing way. You can have a look. And finally, that is the price. I believe you guys are very interested in the price and for the price, it determines the customer to buy decision. For the price here, I'd like to share with you guys about the market cost. The price for the EV 628 amp hour, the price range is 90 USD dollar to 100 USD dollar. The seller in the, the supplier in the market they sell like this price range, and for the CATL. 530 amp hour, the price range is 80 USD dollar. For the EV 314 amp hour, A grade, the price is 55 USD dollar. And for the IEPT Brutal, we sold in our factory, this price is 445 USD dollar. At present, our factory didn't provide the EV628 amp hour with the CATL530 amp hour. For the 530 amp hour of the CATL, the reason why we not to provide because it is the B grade. And you can see the capacity, the internal resistance is not as good as other types of the cell. And the reason why we not to provide the EV628 amp hour, that is because it is the new battery in the market. We are waiting for the quality reflect from our customer, from, from other suppliers. And also, in, because we bought a sample, and uh, now we also do the cycle testing. Yes, to do the cycle testing, and we will see how is it the testing results after one month of the cycle, day by day, and, uh, and uh, to make the decision if we will sold it or we will sell it or not. Yes, we want to we want to take responsibility for our customer, not to just to sell battery. Yes. So if you ask me what you should buy for your solar system, firstly, I will recommend the 314 amp hour, no matter the IEPT or the EV 314 amp hour. And good feedback for the quality and the price is also cost effective. And if you want to try big capacity of the lithium ion phosphate battery cell, here I will recommend you guys to buy the 628 amp hour because compared to the CATL 530 amp hour, it definitely will be more good quality. You guys will ask when you company to sell the EV628 amp hour, I think maybe one month or two months because we need the time to do the recycling test for the sale in our factory. But for the CTL, no need. The quality even cannot pass my quality standard. Yes. Do you like the video that I show you guys about the testing? If you like it, share with your friends and thank you for you guys watching. See you next video. Bye bye.